I wrote a book called Beer and Minced Meat Hot Dogs. Yeah, and it's about low carb dieting for real men like me and like you. So all the women, cut off this vlog. This is for real men. Real men like me or men like you should know that it's possible to do a low carb dieting, stay a man and drink beer in the weekend and eat some minced meat hot dogs. I know there are real men and they wonder if you can combine low carb dieting with beer. And some men like me with minced meat hot dogs. And I'm gonna tell you all about it, how to do it and whether it's possible. Okay, first let me tell you how I lost weight and why I lost weight. I think it was last summer and I was looking in the mirror. Uh, it was the end of the holiday. And I was looking in the mirror in the bathroom and uh, looking downstairs at my dick and I thought, whoa man, if I, if I stop, don't stop eating, go less eating, then uh, one day I can see my dick when I pee. So that was the moment that I was fed up with my food lifestyle. And it took me a few months to find a method that was easy for me because I have two kids and my, my last kid is very young. So I didn't have the time to do a lot of exercise. So then I read about low carb dieting and carb-free dieting. And I thought, hmm, I can do it. So um, I just started and I read a lot of articles. The first three days I felt really bad. But after those three days, I felt really healthy and I felt really good. And I was eating a lot of salads and skipping bread, skipping rice, skipping potatoes. And I was just searching for other healthy things than uh, those carbs. I was searching on the internet and I wondered uh, whether it's possible to drink beer with a low carb dieting. Yeah, because I like a beer, I like two beers, but I could figure out that it wasn't healthy because uh, beer has got carbs. And if you're doing a diet, then maybe beer isn't that healthy or not uh, that good for your carb dieting. So uh, the first two weeks, I didn't drink any alcohol. After that, I found out that beer uh, has a lot of carbs and has a lot of sugar, so it's not really good. But then I read about drinking wine, it's less bad than drinking beer. So um, I was doing the carb diet and during the week I was doing it very strict, eating about 50 to 100 carbs a day and sometimes below 50 a few days. And in the weekends, I began to drink a few glasses of wine. Yeah, just to feel good and feel good with my new lifestyle and don't punish myself too hard with uh, not drinking any alcohol in the weekend. And the thing is, it made me feel really good and I saw that I wasn't gaining weight. And uh, I know a lot of other people who do the same carb diets and they were really pale and really unhappy and really grumpy. So I thought, this is it. You must uh, enjoy the weekend, enjoy yourself a little um, because otherwise, yeah, it's, it's too hard. So the few weeks after I lost a lot of weight for uh, 28 pounds, I think. So that was really good and I was feeling really good and feeling really new, feeling really happy. Yeah, and feeling healthy as ever as I ever been because I didn't care about what I ate before and now I was doing a healthy lifestyle and just really um, looking at everything I was eating, searching, looking at every package I was eating, uh, what are the ingredients, is it biological, is it healthy, is it garbage, how much sugar is it in, is in it. And the first few months you're really paranoid 
and you're in the supermarket and you're doing with everything. Oh. Okay, but after a few months, it's becoming a lifestyle. And uh, now people say uh, say to me, but I'm still doing a carb, low carb diet. I say, yeah, but not because I um, have to lose weight, but just because uh, it's becoming a lifestyle, I feel very healthy with it. And I think it makes me feel good to eat a lot of vegetables. Um, and if I see people eating rice or eating potatoes, it makes me really sick now. Yeah, but back to my book. It's got a lot of beautiful recipes. Back to the book. Drinking beer, yeah. So if after a month I was missing drinking beer because I like beer and I like special beers. So in the weekends I drank a few beers and I saw hmm, I'm not getting any weight. And that was because um, my strict routine during the week. So in the weekend it was possible to drink a few beers. And I uh, soon discovered that my other thing I really like, which is unhealthy, are minced meat hot dogs. Um, you can eat them from the fryer, but you also can eat them in the oven. And when you make them in the oven, you don't have a lot of carbs in it. So maybe it's unhealthy food, but it's good food and it hasn't got a lot of carbs in it. So these two things, rescued my whole diet yeah because these things i was able to control this and do this for um yeah i'm now doing it for six months seven months eight months so i'm very happy with it um uh, my answer to uh, can you do this is wait there's a catch because i was thinking about making this book because I was feeling really good about it and I thought uh, real men like me or men like you should know that it's possible to do a low carb dieting, stay a man and drink beer in the weekend and eat some minced meat hot dogs. So I really wanted to share that with you and, but I was feeling too positive about it. So <coughs> now it's almost summer and it's good weather outside so that makes me want to drink beer and i start drinking beer uh, on thursday and friday so maybe four days a week i was drinking a few beers and that made me realize that after the last two months i gained more weight and i see it here and it's uh, in my belly and it's not that bad to answer your question if you can drink beer eat minced meat hot dogs and do low carb dieting i say yes but do it only during the weekends don't drink too much and stop with it when you're gaining weight because now i um i gained a few pounds but i feel really bad about it and i feel less good about myself so i think that's more important than drinking beer in the weekends so yes you can combine it and you can do it for a few months but you gotta focus uh, during the week that you yeah that you preserve your healthy lifestyle now Chia seed. Chia, I don't know how it is in English, but I discovered this. And my wife thinks this is very feminine. But mm, a real man, uh, it's got to be feminine sometimes. Because I eat salad, that's feminine. Uh, salads, uh, that's really feminine. I eat uh, chia seeds. And eat a lot of feminine. I'm really um, occupied with eating like... Maybe women do more than men, yeah? But um, it makes me feel more like a real man, 
yeah and combining uh, this with this match made in heaven so this during the week weekend week weekend yeah and then we got a party on but there's just one thing I don't have a skill to uh, do my weight because I make myself paranoid with uh, how I, how much I weight uh, yeah if I gain weight every week so I don't have it but this is a tip for all the men who are watching it's my favorite t-shirt and I think it's about more than 10 years old maybe 12 years old and it's uh, a small t-shirt or this is medium but it's really uh, tight and now I can wear small t-shirts now and wait okay. I'm going to show you what I got in my closet okay when I started car free dining and stopped eating a lot this was my t-shirt and you can see this is the t-shirt that makes me feel really good so uh, when I uh, did the car free diet uh, my goal was to achieve to fit in this sexy ass shirt once a week I put on the shirt if you can see my belly in it, in it I gained weight yeah so now I'm gonna show you and we're gonna see we're gonna measure if I gain weight wait So you can see uh, got a little belly in it it's not too much but I can wear this outside because I'm too sexy with my belly looking at my belly so I gained a few pounds and I'm pretty sure this is the cause so I gained a lot of pounds and I think this is the cause uh, it's also the cause by uh, eating honey in my in my yogurt and uh, being less careful with eating carbs yeah so it's time for me to do a more strict uh, carb diet again to feel better again and to really feel right in this shirt yeah so it's a bit too tight I'm gonna pull it off so next few weeks healthy lifestyle less beer more minced meat hot dogs more of this and we're gonna measure this if this is better and you are watching live um, with my healthy lifestyle if it's possible to do fit in this shirt with i say two weeks yeah so in about two weeks i'm going back at you maybe three yeah i'm doing more healthy lifestyle less drinking beer i'm gonna wear this sexy motherfucking shirt and maybe then I feel more like a man I feel like a man but it's um, it felt so really good to to lose weight and to fit in this shirt and now I see my belly in it it doesn't feel good yeah so that's my head and maybe you think this guy is sick this uh, guy is giving a bad example um, yeah you can do it but did you write a book no I wrote this book oh I was lying I didn't wrote this book I thought about writing this book but just made this cover and uh, but I got a lot of ideas 
to do a good book like this, to write a good book like this, with all sorts of man uh, diet tips and tricks. And um, I think I can really fill a really good diet book for low carb for men. So if you want to sponsor me for writing this book, uh, help me uh, get it out there because I think there are a lot of men and a lot of real men who uh, want to know everything about low carb dieting and don't do it like women do, but do it like a man. So, this was Danny Vanderlein, the world's low carb art vlogger. See you next time. Think about this. Help me with writing this real sexy for men low carb dieting book. And next week, next vlog, next love, next summer. No, this summer.